So I'll start off by mentioning that we're drawing water from the river that's, that's flowing across down there. And then we, we hold it temporarily in this storage tank. So you can see it's a bit murky, it's a bit turbid. Maybe John can just fetch some of that water so that we see exactly how it looks. So um, on this skip, you realize that this is what Mr. Davis was mentioning, that we import all these components from all these living suppliers. We have the pumps, we have the module, we make the control panel in-house. And so we put all these bits and pieces of equipment locally in Davis and Shackley, and then we are able to give you a solution in a very short time. So I'll take you through the different cycles of how the ultra filtration module works, but I'll just focus on mainly three, where we will witness the filtration cycle and how the dirty water goes in and comes out as clean. We'll also see the air scope cycle, where the compressed air is passed through the module and the particles are basically shaken and loosened. And after that, we have the backwash, which cleans the module. So you'll be able to see how dirty the water looks when you're doing the backwash cycle. So straight from the tank, I have one of these pumps as the feed pump that will take water through the module. Then it will come through this pipe to the storage tank, and part of it will also go to the tap right there. Then the second pump is what we use for backwash of the module. So it draws part of the clean water and reverses the flow and passes it through the module. So the control panel manages all these operations. It manages the pumps. As you can see, we have the solenoid valves. It changes the different cycles of the water flow into the module automatically. You don't need to change any valves yourself. It's all automated. And as it's running, I'd like you guys to look at the lights, the different lights. So it will be showing you which valve is closing and which valve is opening as you go through the different cycles. There'll always be a little delay when the valves are changing the different cycles. So we started off with a flash Forward flash is a very short cycle that flashes the water that was previously inside the module. So the feed pump is what is running right now. They're basically flashing. So now the filtration cycle is through. You can see the dirty water what is going to the module. And what is on the other end is the clean water. So this will run for a short while. This is what is going through the motor. So what's happening is every piece of this membrane has water passing through the side and coming out at the center. And it all gathers at the top and collects through them out of the side. So this is the every single membrane is filtering every molecule of water that is passing through. So this is how it looks. We also have a, a screen filter. This is important that in case there are any large particles in the water, in case there's any seal, you're able to drop the seal before it gets to the module because it can, it can damage it. But again, this is very easy and it's washable. So anytime it gets chopped or clogged, you can open it up, clean it, and put it back. And you're seeing that the compressor valve is open, so we want to pass compressed air through the module to loosen the dirt particles that have been trapped during the filtration cycle. And also you realize now the backwash valve has also opened in preparation for backwash of the module. And they have also the, the lower and the upper valves have opened. Um, I'd like you guys to have a look at that side. That is the dirty water that is coming out of the module. This is what has been cleaned. The dirt that has been trapped is now out. It's being washed out through the bucket. Cheers! So who would like a drink? There's some skeptical faces around here. Yeah? You want to see the water coming down the road? <laughs> <laughs>